Hey YouTube, so, uh, got about four or five rows of wood to get out of there yet. I'm going to have this finished today. It's Friday. Just wanted to make a little thing here about this planer. This Porter Cable planer has planed for me 3,000 board feet of lumber in the past, I don't know, month or less, maybe month. But anyway, this, I just went in at lunchtime to go eat, and when I came back out, I turned it on, it wouldn't go. It didn't want to do anything. All I did was unplug it, take these plugs out. There's one here, and there's one over here on this side. When you take them out, there's a brush in there. And uh, if you know anything about electrical motors, or that type of a brush. And all I did was clean it, clean it out. There's some wood, some sawdust gets in there. Clean it out, blow it off, put it back in, run, it started right run, up running again. So, you know, the, I can't say enough about this Porter Cable. This thing is unbelievable that it lasted this long. I expected it to drop dead a while ago, but it's really a good little planer. Hey, Tube. I set the camera up as close to the planer as I could so you can see both sides coming in and going out. Now I'm down to the last board in the kiln. So I'm going to put the last board on there. And it has a cup in it. It's got a pretty good cup. So what I'm going to do is um, put it in here and you'll see how I handle this. Now since this cup is this way, and that's how I like to put them in, both sides are basically holding the board. So I'm going to enter it that way. And then... If everything goes right with the camera here, you should be able to see how I handle this to end up with a three-quarter inch straight board. Now this board, like I say, has a cup at the other end. It's more pronounced. So I'm not going to be able to plane the whole board until I get down to three-quarters of an inch. So you'll see what, you know, I, I'm up against at times. But I also have a whole pile of beautiful stuff there that I want to show you that I chose, you know, out of the cuttings this or out of the planing wood this morning just to... Uh, pick out the absolute best stuff to put away. So just hang in there, it's only one board.
those is where we're empty. This board here, I'm pretty sure you can see on this end here, these, this whole pile looks like this, like this top one, or better. The rest of these, this is a good example of what is in this pile. These two piles here will be cut into molding. The 8 inch boards will be slipped or ripped down the middle and then two pieces of molding. Where there are 6 inch boards um, probably have a 1 by 2 left over which is fine. I could always use 1 by 2 for something. So that's it with the kiln. Thank God I'm done with this thing now. So I have a lot of uh, molding to make and some cleaning up here to do. So I'm going to just finish this, uh, close the kiln. I want to uh, get these boards put in the garage. These go where the grizzly planer is. These go onto my special pile. And um, that'll be it then for cutting over here or planing over here for a while. And then I got to clean up this mess, which shouldn't take too long. Oh, nice hot day today. It's like 90 degrees in the, out here. And uh, I don't know, the kiln, even though it's open, 110, 12, 14, 116 in there. So, all right, guys. So when I come up with something else, I'll show it to you then. That's the third bucket and bucket full of sawdust. And that's just from today. Well, it's Friday afternoon, around 5 o'clock, and there's nothing like being all straightened up for the weekend. So, I have a lot of planing and molding to make now. The kiln is completely empty. Uh, I'm glad for that. Um, I'm putting the wood in the, in the greenhouse right now that's the specialty stuff. So I'll show you that yet, and then how much I have for uh, molding, and then I'm going to take a good break. So this is all the red oak then. There's some little bit of other stuff there, but this is mainly red oak. And this is um, all of the red oak that's been planed. Now I have one more skid of red oak yet that has not been planed, but it's still drying. It's air drying. So then I'll show you the stuff that I have to make molding yet, and then you'll know why I have my work cut out for me. So this is uh, what I have now that came from the kiln, besides all the other stuff that I um, put through the molding. This is for base molding. This and these 2 by 8s and those two, or 1 by 8 and the 1 by 6 Now, depending upon how I cut this, I don't think that I can get two out of a 1x6, I think I can only get one. But we're going to try it and see what happens once I get it set up. I might be able to get two of them. Depends on how close I can get the uh, guides to get to the uh, cutters. So that'll be my next chore now. So guys, have a good weekend. I don't know if you're celebrating Memorial Day this weekend or is it next weekend, but if you are, then have a good one. Bye.